Hey guys, Buffin Gaming back, bringing you another video for our Blueprint series, and today we're going to cover the Subterfuge Fuge as part of the Gorilla Bundle for the Ram 7, also the known as the Tar 21 in real life. So you can see on screen now the Gorilla Bundle, which was available in shop this week with the refresh on Tuesday for 1800 COD points. So what this came with was the Operator skin for Minotaur called Hidden, which is more kind of a jungle theme to it with this pack. So uh, Minotaur has a little different camouflage with the outfit and has some war paint on his face and well as his chest to kind of blend it with a jungle environment and then we have the sub tier fuge which we'll be covering which is the blueprint for the ramp 7 turn it into the iwi tavar 21 which we did cover in our conversion series which i'll link down below so that, again this gives it a jungle theme to the weapon we also have the quiet melee which is a knife we have the pinned finishing move which usually utilizes that same knife that we saw in one of bale's the finishing moves is from Black Ops, from the original Black Ops series, where you it's that shooting knife that you have. Then we have the What You Want Operate Equipped, Guns Blazing Spray, Shadow of Death Calling Card, and the IED Charm. So, jumping right into it here, jump back to the weapon, and here is the weapon we see for the Ramp 7, the blueprint for the Subterfuge. So, let's go ahead and just run through this, and then we'll show some gameplay of it live in game in multiplayer. So, the final product here. Now for the attachments, this is the base attachments that it does come with. So first off, we have the lightweight suppressor here, which is going to add sound suppression with the cons being damage at range. Then we have the XRK Ranger barrel attachment. So this is the longest barrel attachment for the Ram 7. Turn it into the IWI Tavar 21 with that 460 millimeter, the 18.1 inch barrel. Now this utilizes a key mod handguard that we see here. So if you look at the old... Tar 21 from Modern Warfare 2 or other pre previous Call of Duty games, you'll notice the difference here. This is a key mod handguard by Midwest Industries that's put on this particular weapon. So I'll link that down below also if you're interested in looking at that. So what this does for pros is damage at range, bullet velocity, as well as recoil control with the cons being the ADS speed, which really isn't a big deal for this, as well as the movement speed, which honestly you don't really notice either of those too much. So we'll go ahead and leave that on there. Then it also comes with the Scout Combat Optic. Now, for me, I'm not a big fan of this. Using it in multiplayer, I just find it's a little hard to acquire targets. Also, with the recoil on this weapon, with that magnified zoom for this, I just have a little bit of trouble staying on target or even acquiring the target due to the zoom level with this particular optic for some reason. So, honestly, with this particular build, I like something like a holographic or even a operator reflex to get me on target faster and not obstruct my view, and I don't really like the magnification on this weapon so personally i would say go with a uh, holographic but again it's personal preference we'll leave the scout optic on since that's what the weapon comes with with the blueprint now for the stock it comes with the ftac equilibrium so the stock is available the first stock you unlock now the pros are the aiming stability as well as the aiming walking movement speed is the con for this weapon and then there's no perk rear grip or ammunition however one recommendation that I would say is get rid of one of these attachments, perhaps even maybe the stock. You could take this off for the base stock. It's not going to cosmetically change the weapon very much at all. Just changes that butt pad on the weapon. You can see the difference there. I would recommend putting a 50 round magazine on this weapon just because the rate of fire is so fast and you're going to find yourself burning through the 30 rounds. You can We'll see in the ground war gameplay when we get into this that I blow through those 30 rounds too quickly and I run out of ammo a couple times and it does get me killed. So I would recommend the 50 round Stenag Meg for this weapon and you can use a base stock is where I would make that switch. But next up is the underbarrel attachment. And for this, we have the Ranger foregrip attachment. So this is a really good attachment. I think this is probably the best foregrip that you can get with this weapon for recoil control. It also pairs very well with a compensator if you wanted to swap out the suppressor for that. But the Ranger foregrip itself, the pros being recoil control and aiming stability, with the cons being aim, walking, movement speed, and ADS speed. So for this weapon, ADS speed really isn't a problem. Some other weapons, when you put the long handguard or barrel attachment on this weapon, it's going to really drastically slow down the ADS speed and make it unusable in most CQC or even mid-range engagements. And for this, you really don't notice, I don't really notice a big problem with it. I'm still able to engage at pretty decent ranges. The only problem is with that scout optic. So again... I'm not a fan of this zoom. I would recommend the holographic or maybe even one of the uh, hybrid sites that allows you to have the candid red dot sight on there as well. Or maybe even the four time flip is also a good one, such so as the also the integral web 
red dot and 3.5 scout toggle is also a very good one as well so that way you have the options for some reason the scout optic just didn't work well for me so now what does this look like with other attachments on it so how the attachments affect the way the cosmetics of the blueprint look so if we were to put take off the suppressor and let's say put a muzzle brake on you can see it doesn't really drastically change anything at all one note here is that the lightweight suppressor on this weapon so the difference is with the cosmetics i guess first off is that you can see the suppressor is wrapped here so first off let me go to my i'm going to jump back to a custom class so we can see i'm going to compare the differences between the two so if i go to my classes here where i have these set up if you just look at the weapon on the table i'll switch to this is the blueprint and this is the weapon built from the base ram 7 not using the blueprint so you can see the differences there are basically none right there's really no drastic changes to the weapon cosmetically besides very minor things one of those being the suppressor is wrapped you can see there just the wrapping on the suppressor which is a nice little added touch the other difference you'll notice is the right and above on the left hand side above the magazine there is ba5 versus on the standard ramp 7 it's mk 52 or mark 52. so if we go back to our blueprint now any other changes would be the stenag mag the base 30 round magazine has what looks like grip tape on it on the left hand side there that we can see and also on the right and if i were to swap this out with a 50 round mag you can see it would just give us a base 50 round stenag mag so no major changes there to the weapon the only other things if we were to switch off the handguard for the barrel so you do a base barrel attachment here and it does not impact the cosmetics of the weapon at all because of the way the weapon is set up in the handguard so at the force attack eclipse is the only one that's going to affect the blueprint cosmetics for this weapon and then we go back to the xrk ranger you can see even with the 3.5 compact in the base it's not going to affect the blueprint because it's just the standard barrel and there's no handguard attachment with the barrel such as with the forge deck eclipse and the xrk but the xrk is the one that happens to go with the blueprint so no major changes at all and then obviously we're if we were to switch out the optics say with a holographic you can see there just a black holographic we don't have the camouflage there even something like the flip sight uh looks pretty pretty nice too and actually there is green on the the uh, hybrid flip site there for the zoomed object to kind of go right along with this blueprint as well so we'll go ahead and slap that back on there for the scout optic so again this is the iwi tavar tavar 21 for the blueprint for the sub tier fuse as part of the gorilla bundle available in shop for 1800 cod points really no major cosmetic changes as we said it does have the jungle camouflage on there if we were to put any other camouflage on there so let's go with a woodland theme since this is kind of closely matching what we have you can see it's very simple similar actually if not exactly it looks very similar to any other so the woodland themes you're going to retain the base camo pattern you can see there and then obviously have the camouflage colors you can still see those leaves that come with the base blueprint they're just highlighted a little bit more with any of these other camouflages on there so you can see how it changes it actually makes the weapon look pretty nice you can put some of these on even the digitals you can see how it changes it even affects the stenag mag as well as the grips of the entire weapon even up to the lightweight suppressor besides the wrap there so if we go back to the base weapon this is the IWI Tavar 21 for the sub tier fuge blueprint for the Ram 7 turn it into the Tavar 21 so I'll go ahead and link the videos down below for the key mod handguard if you're interested by Midwest Industries who does make a lot of different handguards for AKs uh Tar 21s and uh, many other weapons very similar to a uh so the key mod and then also there's a few other few other handguards that they do create too so you can go ahead and check that out on the website they do things for uh SVDs for example, AKs, ARs, any, any type of handguard you could want, they make a bunch of different ones. So the key mod handguard by Midwest Industries. Um, what we'll show here in the background is just some ground war gameplay I captured with my first round using this gun, actually. And you'll see me a little, struggle a little bit at first, just try to get acquired targets and get my sights on the targets because I'm not used to this combat scope on this weapon. So it took me a little bit to get used to that. Also, the high rate of fire in this weapon is very handy. However, like I said, you will run out of ammo uh a lot with this due to the high rate of fire so i would almost i would definitely recommend swapping out that stock or maybe even the suppressor 
for a 50 round Stenag Mag instead. So let me know what you guys think of this weapon. Overall, I think it is a really good blueprint. Unfortunately, there's no really major cosmetic changes to the weapon. I would have liked to see something different, like a different type of handguard or some other updates to the weapon. Maybe with some different rail systems, different cosmetic changes to distinguish it more so from the base Ram 7 Tar 21 build. But again, it's basically the same, just with a different camouflage pattern, essentially, and some very minor, minor changes here and there. But overall, I think it does look very aesthetically pleasing, and I think it is definitely, for me at least, worth the 1800 COD points to use, um, especially if you don't have all the attachments like myself unlocked for this in multiplayer. It does help to give you a pretty good base weapon to start out with, with the Tar 21. So... Let me know what you guys think down below. Also, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you're liking the content. Hopefully here, we'll be having, I believe it's rumored that Warzone will be coming out either the 3rd of March or the 10th of March. So we'll be covering that. Also, our recent giveaway winners. So I've reached out to you guys and we're in communication. I'll be doing more giveaways once we reach the 15,000 subscriber mark, as well as when Season 3 launches. So obviously, Season 3 is still a ways away, but that 15,000 subscriber mark is pretty close. So once again, thank you to all the subscribers who have been following me since the beginning. You know, we came from uh, basically under 200 when the game Call of Duty Modern Warfare first launched, and then we're over 12,000 today. So thank you again, guys. I really appreciate everything you do for the channel, um, and I love communicating with you guys. So be sure to comment down below. Try to get to everyone's comments. Also, the Instagram and Twitter links are down below. Also, if you want to get a hold of me with anything, you can go ahead and message me there. We also have a Discord, which is live down below too in the comment or the description. So you can go ahead and check that out and jump into the community. We have almost 100 people now in the community. Um, so we'll be doing play events and things like that there coming up soon as well. So go ahead and jump in there if you're interested. Stay up to date with any latest information we'll be updating on there as well. So let me know what you guys think down below. Again, this is the IWI Tafar 21 for the Sub-Tier Fuge Blueprint. And I'm just going to leave you guys with the gameplay. Have a good Ground War gameplay here on Karst River Quarry. End up getting a chopper gun at the very end. It was a little bit of a rough start, but... Um, then you can see some different engagements with this weapon at close and even long range and see how it performs. And in my mind, probably the holographic sight or even the four times flip would be the optimal optic for this weapon in order to better engage in close to medium range as well as also have that option to engage at long range as well. So let me know what you guys think down below. And until next time, Buffer Gaming, out. Stacker 3 1 arriving on station, ready for test. Overhead. We're down, but not out. Let's go. Oh. We're taking Delta. One chopper on station. He's back up and Charlie. Delta secure. How about one of you can now escape? Oh, man. That gave him something to think about. Good work. 